And then welcome back. We're going to do episode number two of season five of Superstore. It's called Testimonials. Okay. Not even going to speculate. We're just going to get on with it. Here we go. So we still don't know if the raccoons have a key or if someone is letting them have into the key. safe. Have a key. Into the safe? Ms. Hayo's bond hearing has what? been scheduled. Oh, cool. His aunt's bringing huh? his lawyer by to get a statement from me today. Remember, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. <laughs> Excellent point, but she's just providing a character testimony yeah. to help with this case. Yeah, all I have to do is tell him that Mateo is a vital employee. Oh, that's how they get you. Next thing you know, they'll be asking you, where were you April 25th? And you'll be like, I don't know. And then they'll be like, well, then why are your fingerprints all over this dead goes. body? Baby, please be careful. <laughs> yes, okay, I will be careful in case Mateo's immigration lawyer wants to frame me for murder. Mm -hmm. Yes. What's Glenn turned into since he stopped being manager? You mean she had a mental breakdown when she Is found that out Carol? Sandra and Jerry got engaged? Yeah. Oh, do you think she's planning to gone girl Sandra? <laughs> gone girl, though. You got me a cake? No, those are yesterday's donuts. Oh, I thought Dina was throwing me a little engagement party as like mm -hmm. a maid of honor thing. Dina's your oh. maid of honor? Who else is she going to ask? The old lady who spits at her on the bus? Dina, what? are you throwing an engagement party? Absolutely not. Engagement party is not a maid of honor duty. Or maybe you just want the party to be a surprise? No, I do not want that. I won't expect a party. That's <laughs> what I just said, Sandra. <laughs> he just being serious good luck, here. Jerry. Sandra, good luck. Oh my god. Carol's up to something though. The way she smiled and she was being nice, right? Amy is the store manager who let my sweet nephew get ripped away from us suddenly and dramatically. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Amy, my baby's future is on the line. Please, don't mess this up like Mateo says you always do. No. <laughs> what? No. You don't have to be under oath for this. That's why I said, or whatever. Tita Irma. Ah, come on, Oh, that's right. You two are roommates. Mm -hmm. It's been so good oh, to have you around. Oh, of course. Oh, no. She's mothering Marcus. Oh, please don't forget to eat. Huh? I do. I forget to eat. Tita, oh my god. What would I do without you? Marcus mm -hmm. is really falling on his feet here. <laughs> She'll never get rid of him. I'm not throwing you an engagement party. Not today. Not ever. <laughs> okay. Is there going to be a twist here? Is she actually going to? Because it's obviously no. making us think the that she's not. The more you deny that there's a party, the more she's going to think it's actually happening. Well, that's textbook psychosis. Why don't you just throw her one? Look, I know you like to be everyone's mm -hmm. manic pixie dream girl, but that's not how I live my life. <laughs> and an engagement dream. party is clearly not on my list of duties. She'll start asking for other things that aren't on the list. Do you know how many things aren't on the list, Jonah? <laughs> All other things, basically. You want me to actually... Buying <laughs> yeah. the zoo, managing the zoo, hiring an experienced staff, euthanizing the giraffe when it gets right, sick. Why are these all zoo-based? So you yeah. want me to start with zoo things and then go to other topics and then switch back to zoo stuff? <laughs> do you hear yourself? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why does Jonah do it to himself, though? Why? Come on. You should... <laughs> There's Glenn. You're finally emptying Mateo's locker, huh? You okay? Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Marcus is talking into that mom sandwich. Forgot my name tag. <laughs> so. What's up with him? Is that old? Got it, Glenn. She okay, gonna got it. ask him what's up? Hey, Cheyenne, I don't want to be insensitive. Got a head in her phone. Mateo's locker's in a pretty primo spot there. <laughs> he above wants to swap. Do you think maybe I could move my stuff into it? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I guess you could. Hold up. If anyone's going to get Mateo's locker, it should be me. I already took his room and most of his underwear. It just makes sense. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm down to my last 100 knee bends. Hmm, well, you down guys to both my last pretty hundred. good arguments. I forgot my chapstick. <laughs> oh my god. Are they going to spend the episode sucking up to him to try and get this locker? His work ethic is an example for us all. Tay Tay and Teen Teen, the slut squad. Wait, you talked to Richard too? Yeah, like when he told that lost oh, little man. girl that she was better off now because her mommy was hot trash. Classic slut squad tea. No, Justine, <laughs> why would you tell the lawyer that? I was under oath. No, you're no. not under oath, Justine. Everybody knows that. <laughs> I was literally just found that out. <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, uh, what do we think of what? Yeah. I got a brand new polo. Can you smell it? <laughs> Fresh out of the bag. Oh, yeah. bag, wow. For sure. I just thought I'd look my best because of the uh oh, the lawyer. Engagement party. Oh. 
you know, Sandra Dean is you, you look great, Sandra. Doesn't she look great? That's the perfect outfit for the party. <laughs> Thank you, Jonah. <laughs> you flirt. <laughs> you flirt. What are you doing? You know Dina's not going to give her a party. Yeah, He's darn not going to throw I figured I'd just throw something together. I mean, look how happy mm. Sandra looks. And she has so little. Yeah, mm. exactly. She doesn't expect much. You don't tell a fish about land. You just leave it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I leave it. Nah, I'm already too excited about it. <laughs> Who is this? But Mateo was Eugene. too busy laughing. Wait, was that the guy that was Glenn's assistant for a while? Hey, Eugene. Hey. Um, I need you to go and scrub the walls. You got it. Yeah, get him away from him. Yeah. He's fine, isn't he? Mm. But I would strike everything he said from the yeah. record. Yeah, I didn't write any of it down. I already told you Mateo's great, so isn't that enough? No, mm -hmm. sorry. It's not enough. <sighs> what the hell is this? <laughs> I said no engagement party. I just figured that maybe I would make me look like a giant a-hole. This kid kicked Dina into doing it though. Well, I, you could still throw her one. It's not on the list. <laughs> Jonah, the list came from the internet. The international network. Yes. <laughs> That's not... I am the maid of honor and I said no party for Sandra. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, mm. I got it. Great, no party. Oh, I thought this Good. is gonna... Glad you understand driver to do it <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> one of us just needs to marry mateo i'll do it he's gonna be over the moon all right well here are some defenses that are used in detention cases involved in community service active organ donor yes exactly so we just need to think if mateo fits into anything like that or we could just embellish a little mm -hmm. you want us to lie mm -hmm. to a lawman and it wasn't easy but Mateo say, managed gave him a kid to teach something. those inner city kids mm. how to express themselves mm -hmm. through the power of music. <laughs> Are you just telling me the plot to Sister Act 2? Back in the habit, <laughs> yes. Which I heard is loosely based on Mateo's life. Mm. So, one time, oh, God. Mateo. <laughs> it's a funny story. Oh, because he can't it's lie. He was the only witness to a murder. <laughs> What murder? Well, I can't talk about it because the murderer is fictional. In this room. What? <laughs> I was told I was supposed to come in here. Sandra, this isn't your engagement party. No. <laughs> Where was that? Mateo. Mateo. <laughs> so I forgot to mention that Mateo is donating Glenn's his liver. Glenn's big values. Oh, I knew someone was going to say something like that. Because mine is completely destroyed. Give that no. vino to Mino. Justine, Did you drink so much, of course. Still on that issue. Okay, if you're going to have the locker next to me, we're probably going to have to talk in the mornings. You each have eight seconds to show me how interesting you are. Glenn, go. <laughs> eight uh, seconds. Okay, so I, I was in traffic this morning. Oh, okay. I'm Thumbs so up. sorry, Glenn, but I really don't like stories about cars. <laughs> Marcus, you're up. My parents didn't talk to me until I was five to see if I would learn sign language. I didn't. What? Last year, I had intense stomach cramps that wound up being a spider's nest inside my body. Worked out great, though. Got to keep the spiders. And all my teeth are fake. Time. What? Yeah. In your face, Glenn. I, I, I ate a pencil because I thought it was chocolate. Okay, I'm listening. <laughs> yeah, that's so also funny to hear those kind of stories. He I'm Jeff. Is a huge deal. Uh, I don't know about huge oh, deal, Jeff's... but uh, big deal. Sure, I do get to use the company car <laughs> once. Once. Real quick, do you know if Mateo has been getting any of my messages? <laughs> God. Okay, Amy. Look, I see what you're trying to do, but I have to present. Jeff is supposed facts. to be the big gun here. So far, all I've got is he's a good employee. Out of the rest Sometimes of them. nice, and he has glasses. Which isn't even a thing, but... <laughs> it's accurate, at least. I can't waste any more time here. Mm. Really, Jeff? You couldn't just say Mateo was an integral part of the company? You had to babble on about Bastille by Pompeii? Pompeii by Bastille, you're showing your age a little. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, this is your fault. If you had stopped the store from unionizing, like I said, Cloud9 would have never sent ICE. Why do people keep blaming this on me? ICE isn't supposed to do worksite enforcement during a labor dispute. If you guys have proof that corporate uh -huh. ordered the raid, then we might have a better chance. Uh -huh. Proof? Yes, we have that. We'll, we'll go get it. Uh -huh. Dressy, uh, Sandra. Oh, no. I know I said the party. I know, I know. We'll make sure to act surprised. Uh -huh. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is my first party. Like, oh my God. Ever? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, you have to do it now, Jonah. Okay, Think well, quick. you... Two lovebirds just uh, hang out. <laughs> uh, 
I'll go and fetch these They're balloons coming. off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> and it is gonna be good. <laughs> Just take them out to a pizza hole or something. They'll be fine with that. Hey, Jerry. Good to see you. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jerry's found a new BBF. BFF. <laughs> They won't even know what they're confessing to. That's great. Mm -hmm. They're going to be putty in your hands. Putty. You can record it. I'm calling from Immigration and Customs Enforcement, <laughs> and I just need to verify some records. Work. Just work that putty. Uh, okay. What are you looking for? Um, yeah. Sounds like it, Kelly. It says here that we conducted a raid at your Ozark <laughs> Highlands location. I'm with ICE, so you can tell me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're gonna be as easy as that. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Okay, I like that I can't taste any of the flavors in here. I chose to put the entire Snickers bar in there in case you wanted a snack after. <laughs> I could put food in there too. I got a club sandwich in the fridge. <laughs> Actually, do you know what would go really good with this? Disney World tickets. Oh, no, no. I just need to get my credit card. <laughs> oh, come That's on, That's not Claire. fair. I don't know <laughs> where to get a credit card. You know you don't have the authority to assign lockers, right? Yeah, I'm just yeah, exactly. to get stuff. <laughs> yeah. Mateo would be proud. I know. <laughs> Where did you get that from? What do you got there, buddy? <laughs> uh, I just, this, I just, um, I forgot my lunch today, so I Your head's going in that, Jonah. I have a little treat. Well, if that's your lunch, don't let me stop you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh, great. Cool. She's just going to stand there, there while you're eating, Jonah. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Mm. Take a bit from the middle. Mm. You know what? That is probably <laughs> enough for me. <laughs> I am going to save the rest of this. We're not leaving this table until you finish every bite <laughs> of your lunch. <laughs> and you better hurry. Your break's over in eight minutes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hi, Garrett. Yeah. Hey. There he's oh. found a new bestie. Um, so before, when you said it was good to see me? I'm going to regret saying I that, Garrett. I told you. It's good to see you too. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he's really sweet, but talk to you later. I suspect he's a bit stalkerish. When? When? <laughs> what? when do you think we'll talk later? Oh no. I don't know, buddy. <laughs> buddy. Buddy. He knows that's the brush off. Oh no, he, buddy. You think right? <laughs> Quite the opposite. He just called him buddy. That's it now. Best friends forever. Well, we can just have you go on record at the hearing. What? Really? Hmm. Amazing. Let's do that. Yeah. I was thinking yeah. that. What? On the record. He doesn't. Oh, because like he doesn't want to, of course. Official record. I yeah. Mean, like, gonna, hear that I said he's it. afraid. Yeah. No, it's totally fine. Totally mm, we've fine. We've been here before. But you know what? Um, yeah. I'm not going to do it. I mean, yeah. He's not going to, is he? Can't really blame him either. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm really enjoying our male friendship. Our oh, male yep. friendship. Okay. <laughs> Will you be my best man? Um... You can't say no, Garrett. You can't. <laughs> That's it. Leave it there. How could you do this to Mateo? <laughs> Look, what if I lose my job and he doesn't get out? I mean, then nobody wins. Sometimes you've got to take a risk in life, Jeff. What's this? Oh, he still values him. He still had this in his locker? Oh. Yeah, he had it hung up in there. Oh, is that going to get him to do this? I didn't realize he still had feelings. Wow, this is big. Um, Wait, he's going to still say no. See you later. I'll do it. Oh, what? okay. I'll testify. Oh my God, Jeff, thank God. I'm going to see if I can catch Richard. Wait, if they just, did did they put that in deliberately? How did you find a picture so yeah. fast? It's still Jeff's profile picture. Oh. Should I just throw it in the trash? Yeah. Or? Nobody wants that. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. I should have realized that. I threw up a bunch of cake a little while ago. Where's the wedding? What kind of reign of terror is Dina running here? Jesus Christ. Only talk if it's completely necessary. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I just want to thank you. Mm. This is better than I ever. <laughs> <laughs> really? I got red-handed with your pants down and egg all over your tiny, tiny bush baby face. <laughs> bush baby. You just couldn't help yourself, could you? You had to make me look like an a-hole. Hi, Dina. Nobody asked you. I just felt bad for Sandra. Everybody feels bad for Sandra. But I get it. 
If this is what I need to do to stop you from humiliating me, I'll do it. I'll violate the internet. All right, everybody, <laughs> this isn't the real the party. <laughs> the real party is going to happen Saturday morning at 7 a.m. Yeah, it's pretty stirring um, to it. Saturday's actually my day off. <laughs> I use my last sick day today. Oh, Jerry, no one's going to notice if you're not there. Now, obviously, it's mandatory for you. My God. Okay, do you need me to bring anything? Cups would be nice. Mm -hmm. Not plastic, though. Glass. Mm -hmm. Drinks. Yeah, maybe empanadas. <laughs> Bless her. These are eating the cake already. Sandra, look, Mateo got out. Oh. Hey, Sandra. Oh. Sorry, I know this is probably all for you, but I just. Oh. Oh. No. Sandra, Jesus, let Mateo finish eating your cake. <laughs> Sorry, she's been turning into a bit of a bridezilla. Bridezilla. <laughs> this is finally over. Oh, thanks, but I'm not it's sure not it over. Is. I'm yeah. Just out on bond while I go through deportation proceedings. Mm. Well, at least you're free. Well, I do have to wear this ankle monitor. No, just fucking no. So not exactly free. I wouldn't say a pencil because I thought it was chocolate. <laughs> it doesn't work in this situation, Glenn. <laughs> hey, man, I need you to go to Dollywood with me for Jerry's bachelor party. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He had to say yes, right? I mean, what can you do? There's only so long you can go, mm. <laughs> That was really good. I really enjoyed that one. Oh my god, that was better than the first one, I think. That was really sweet, Sandra's reaction there with Mateo. That was really sweet. I mean, I suppose they'll keep that locker on hold now because he's not quite free, like you said, but maybe he's going to, you know, be able to come back to the store. But that wouldn't be soon, would it? So someone's probably going to need that locker. Or, well, someone's going to want that locker in the meantime. There's a lot of sweet characters like Jerry in this show. Sandra's another one. However, <laughs> they're quite scary, aren't they? They are quite scary. The thing is, when you watch a show like this, you warm to those characters the most because they're so sweet and adorable and you just warm to them. But in real life, you know, you, you probably most people would have a reaction like Garrett, right? You'd be like, oh my God, this guy's going to stalk me. What am I going to do? I can't possibly give him any encouragement here because, yeah, he's just going to take it way too far, you know. It's sad as well because there are people who are so lonely and, you know, they, they latch on to little things, you know, and, yeah, it's it's really sad. Oh, it is really sad, actually. It's really sad, that. But what do you do? Do you know what I mean? What do you do in that situation? I don't know what you do in that situation. I'm sure everyone has been in that situation at some point. I mean, everyone's felt lonely at some point as well, right? And they've wanted to make a friend and perhaps we've taken it too far sometimes as well. I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm just, I'm not discluding myself from being like that myself sometimes, you know, sometimes you, in life, you know, when you get to my age, certainly. They're so harmless as well, but, and they, you know, sometimes some people can just take it too far and it can scare you a little bit. It can be, get a little bit scary, but really i mean 99.9% .9 of them probably aren't scary at all and they just want to make a new friend you know it's an awkward one isn't it i feel like probably everyone everyone watching me included like we've all been in both situations right we've all thought well i really like this person i'd like to get to know them and i'd like to be their friend and it didn't quite happen i mean i wouldn't stand there like jerry did and we kind of you know forced the situation but yeah i think we've all been in that si a similar situation i guess and we've all been in Garrett's situation as well, I'm sure. I'm sure that's happened to everyone as well. So what do you do? As you get older, it's more and more difficult to make friends, actually. So I couldn't almost understand Jerry's desperation there. I'm sure people who are my age who are watching this and, you know, perhaps older, you know, people probably know people around that age or older as well that, you know, you do, especially as a guy, you do get to a point where socialising isn't really a thing anymore and you don't care. You don't really care anymore. You just kind of give up. I've got to that stage in my life, I think, um, for the most part. I think it's kind of different with women. I think they're more social people generally. I mean, not I'm not categorizing men and women really, but you know what I mean? I think women just find it easier to make friends and to hang on to friends and to want to be with other friends and talk talk about stuff, you know. Guys my age, they, you know, Jerry's age as well, it kind of, it changes. Something changes in us. I don't know what it is, but I'm generalizing, you know, I'm not saying every man's that way, but long story short, I can see why Garrett was kind of, what the fuck, what am I going to do? Um, funny that he, <laughs> he's trying to rope Jonah in now as well. I mean, that's dangerous as well because Jerry would be all over Jonah then as well, wouldn't he? Bless him though. Bless Jerry. That's the problem, isn't it? Men at that age, some men really still want that social contact, you know, 
and desperately you know especially if you don't have any friends at all you you would probably want that desperately and a lot of men don't i mean i'm saying men and men but you know a man can be a friends with a woman but at that age it's less common isn't it because people are married by that age normally so yeah anyway um good episode really good episode i enjoyed it i enjoyed it a lot a very very funny dina my god dina's getting worse and worse it well she kind of that's the thing about dina she kind of pulled her character around a little bit she, when she was um tasks tasks tasked by amy to um yeah to reject everyone who want wanted more hours right yeah so during that episode she kind of realized that she had a soul actually and she didn't like doing it so i thought oh some growth and now she's back she's back straight back to old dina if if not worse she was probably the most mean she's ever been in this episode and she bullies Jonah to hell doesn't she she really bullies him it's funny because they're all terrified of her and you would be wouldn't you but if you're all together you know on the same side as they were in that last scene and one person came all right she's the assistant manager so i guess it's yeah i didn't think of that actually so yeah she is the assistant manager so they kind of got a toe the line with her right but it doesn't mean you have to put up with her bullying and intimidation really i don't want to say bullying it's more intimidation isn't it which i guess is bullying <laughs> i don't know but it's Dina's character and it's a comedy so i you know i don't hate her or anything i mean normally in real life you probably would but it's a comedy and you know she has got a soft side as we've seen i really enjoyed it thanks for watching and hopefully you'll join me for episode number three see you then see ya bye